Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and this is Ham Radio Adventures. So today I've got something special for you guys. A new battery I found on Amazon. Here it is. So let's get to the video. So a few a few months ago I was looking through Amazon and I happened to look at lithium batteries and I found this battery that looked very interesting. It's the uh, Eco Worthy. It's a 12 volt lithium battery, Life 4 and it is 20 amp hours. But the different thing about this battery is that it comes in its own case. Now I've added this wire here. Uh, my radio does have fuses on it, so I don't really need the fuses. But I will probably build something later for it that actually has a fuse in line. So no matter what I use, will be fused. But uh, pretty cool. It's got its own little case. It's kind of a plasticky. Uh, has the two. Let me put this a little closer. Has two inlets here for your uh, your positive and negative. It also has a charge port. I think here. I think that's what this is. We'll look at it later in the uh, description on Amazon. Pretty cool. It's got four screws that hold the top on here. See if you guys can see that. Okay, on the back here, it has the specs. Uh, Eco worthy, the model number is the Eco 1220. Uh, watt hours is 240 watt hours. Max charge voltage is 14.5. Discharge cutoff is 10 volts, so you won't ruin the battery. Um, max current is 20 amps, pretty good. Good enough for any 100 watt radio, it looks like. And uh, max discharge current is 25 amps. For more information, please refer to user manual. I don't remember getting a user manual, but there is a lot of information on their site. For on, on the Well, there is a lot of information on the Amazon site, so we'll check that out. I'll take you into the computer and we'll look at that over. But all in all, pretty happy with it. Um, I used it on a... Uh, uh, soda on St. John's Mountain. Uh, I, I probably ran it on. A, now I have my 705, but I was also running a 100 watt amp from Yesu. I, I did a video on that. You guys can look that up, or I'll put it in the description below. And that that one does somewhere between 100, 120 watts out. So I wasn't doing QRP. I was using 100 watts. I was out there for a couple hours, no problems at all, making contacts. So. It seems like a really good battery. Gets pretty good ratings. The only bad ratings, and I'll show that to you, that I saw were their kits. They have a kit with solar panel and stuff, and people didn't like that it didn't come with all the plugs. So let's go in on the computer, check out all the specs and everything on it. Okay, so here's the uh, Amazon site where I found the battery. And um, it shows here it's a 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery, Eco Worthy Portable, 12 volt lithium battery. Deep cycle, uh, has a built-in BMS, uh, 4,000 plus cycles, perfect for outdoor camping, fishing, RV marine, trolling, and boat. So it's perfect for what we do on the ham radio side. And if you look here, there's uh, some kits. Uh, this is the only thing that I really found that people talked bad about was their kits because they didn't supply all the... One guy said they didn't supply it. Like, if you look here... Oh, actually, I actually have to click on it. If you look right there, there's a, uh, a plug. It shows it there, but he said he didn't get it, so I don't know. I didn't buy it for that, that purpose. I have my own solar stuff anyhow. But if you come down into the uh, bottom out here, they show it with a little kit with a charger. I don't know anything about that charger. I will recommend a charger. I'll throw it in the... Uh, I haven't done a review on it yet, but I will throw it on the um, comment section down here. Now they're showing it here, using it for like fishing and stuff like that, marine, fishing, camping, uh, RV, not big enough for an RV really. They do make batteries that are, are big enough for RVs and stuff also. 
They seem to be a pretty good sized company, so they make a lot of different types of batteries, as you'll see. Now, capacity is 20 amp hours, 256 watt hours. Battery volts is 12.8 and 20 amp hour. Max, let's see, maximum charge current 20 amps, maximum discharge current 20 amps, and maximum voltage charge voltage is 14 and a half. And it cuts off at 10 volts to protect the battery. 0 to 45 degrees Celsius is a temperature. Discharge temperature range, minus 20 to minus 55 Celsius. It's, it's 7.6 Fahrenheit to 131 Fahrenheit. It's got an M5 screws, the screws up there on the uh, positive and negative. And the battery is 5.87 by 5.98 by 10.8. 0, 08 inches and it weighs 5.42 pounds not the not the lightest 20 amp hour battery i don't think but uh, it's very well protected the guy they're showing it like almost an hour on a 36 pound uh trolling motor um, on a kayak it says it can run the fish finder for 10 hours class a battery cells so that's good if it's you know it's all in whether it's true and i'm sure they're putting that there hopefully it is true um, BMS protection and it shows some of the other batteries and stuff that they offer there and let me go back up on the ratings for their uh, feedback uh, 41 ratings so far and four stars out of five and a couple of those were I mean they weren't complaining about the battery when I read them they were complaining about not getting enough cables and stuff so a pretty nice battery uh it says oh wow if you guys want one of these uh when i looked the first thing i looked this morning it was there was four left now they're down to two left i expect that uh, these would be pretty popular there's uh, some of the reviews were from guys that uh, do ham radio also so you might want to hurry they'll probably be back in stock if they're out of them but uh when and one it's like 129.89 that's a little more expensive than Say like a Miati, a little less expensive than a Bioeno, maybe. Okay, so here's the battery again, a little closer, maybe a better look. There's the top. Right here is the uh, the other port there. I think that's for solar charging or charging with a a uh, charger that has the right fitting for that. It's got the screws on the top there right down here that screw the top on I haven't taken it off and then there's the uh, the back of it so it shows everything and I told you guys uh, I think sometime in this video that uh, it will fit in this is a Harbor Freight ammo box this is a small one and I got a little 805 on the back put some stickers on it it's for better better receive you know <laughs> just kidding but it will actually fit in here now it does press the uh, top out a little bit and the only reason I put it in here was just I, I threw it in the back of my forerunner and I was off-road and I just wanted a little more to protection for it but you could actually put this in one of these battery boxes or, or make a battery box out of this thing because it if you as you see it does fit and it has a little bit of extra has a little extra room in there too if you can it's hard to see because of the light but there's a little room at both ends there so you could make actually a, a, a battery box out of this thing too. And it does shut, I'll show you that. Now it does bulge, the, it does bulge it if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it bulges the sides out just a little bit, but no problem closing. Top's on there nice. So, so if you were wanting to make your own little battery box out of it, pretty compact for a 20 amp hour. Uh, my 30 amp hour box is twice the size of that. Maybe even more than twice the size. So hopefully this is uh, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys, and uh, you might like this battery. And like I said, I will put a link in the description in the uh, the description below below the title and stuff there. And uh, hopefully you guys will like this. I've I tell you what, I've I've had good luck with it so far. Uh, I went out for a couple hours on that one soda and had no problems at all, and pushed probably about 120 watts that day, somewhere in that area. That, it depends on the band, but I, uh, I ran a lot of 20, I ran 40, and uh, no problems at all. And I, as far as I could tell, I didn't check it when I got back, but uh, the voltage on it was 
it was still 13.1 when I got home. So, okay, let me just put a voltmeter on this thing. This thing's been setting for a month or two. Uh, I charged it when I got back, I think. And let's just see what the voltage on it is right now. So it's 13.37. And I'd say that's at least, that's about two months. So, so not too bad. I hope you guys can see that. Get a little bit of glare out of the lights there. Um, just a showing you what the actual voltage is. I, I think that's pretty close to what it was when I charged it. It's like 13, 4, 13, something like that. Okay, like I said before, uh, I bought this with my own money, so Eagle Worth is not paying me to do anything on this review. It's just something I liked. I bought it, and I want another 20, 20 amp hour battery. I have a 30, a couple 36 amp hours. Hopefully this, you guys will like this. I will put a link down in the description. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate, so I will get a little bit, a little bit of kickback, maybe, back to the channel, which helps the channel, it helps me buy things like this to review for you guys. It's a really nice little battery, a little bit, probably physically bigger than some of the other 20 amp hours, but it does come with that case that also protects it. And I'd say the case is probably stronger than most cases, on, say, like your, your Miatis or your Bioinos with the hard cases. Just the way it's made, it's a little stronger, I think. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. If you like this video, please hit that like. It does help the channel. And if you are new here, hit that sub and then hit that bell for all. And that way you'll get all my future contact. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time with me. 73 all. Hope to catch you on the airwaves.